Hello friends. Welcome back to Mia's Spice World. Today I'm making a special appam which is made by Trishur Christian families on Midland Wednesday. It is called Inderi Appam. Christians observe the Great Lent for 50 days prior to Easter and the 25th day of the Lent is known as Mid Lent Wednesday. On this day, Christian families in Trishur make this appam. I will be showing you two ways of preparing this appam. So let's check out the recipe. I have taken one and a half cups of raw rice and half cup of urad dal, which I have washed thoroughly and soaked separately for three to four hours. After three hours, take a blender and grind the rice with required water into a smooth paste. Similarly, blend the urad dal too, adding enough water. In the same blender, I would also be grinding a coconut paste, which is needed for the inderi appam. For this, I would be needing one cup of grated coconut, one teaspoon of cumin seed, and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Grind them into a creamy texture. Add this coconut paste to the rice and urad dal mixture, and using your hands, mix them thoroughly until everything is well combined. The batter should be less watery than idli batter consistency. Allow it to rest for half an hour. Meanwhile, we will fry few ingredients. Take a kadai and add some coconut oil. Once the coconut oil gets heated, add one cup thinly sliced coconut bits, which are evenly cut. Fry them in medium flame until they start browning. At this stage, add 12 to 15 sliced shallots and again stir continuously until they crisp up. Finally, add some curry leaves and mix them well. Once everything is fried well, remove from flame and allow it to cool. Keep some portion of the fried coconut for garnishing. Once cooled. Add the fried ingredients to the batter and combine them well. Add required amount of salt and stir them well again. Now we shall start making the inderi appam. First, I shall show the steaming method. For this, take a stainless steel plate and grease it well with some coconut oil. Then pour two to three ladles of the batter. Garnish with some coconut which we had fried earlier. Meanwhile, boil some water in a steamer. Once the water starts to boil, carefully place the plate inside the steamer. Cook in medium flame for 15 minutes or until it's cooked. You can check if the appam is cooked by inserting a small wooden stick. If it comes out clean, that means our inderi is cooked. Now we shall see the second method. Instead of steaming, we will cook the appam in oil in a pan. This appam is also called kaltappam. For this, take a small pan and add little coconut oil. When the oil is heated, pour some batter into the pan and spread it slightly. Again, garnish with some fried coconut. Cover the pan and cook the appam in low to medium flame. Open the pan and check if the corners have turned crisp. Flip the appam and continue cooking until both the sides are cooked and have turned crisp. We can now remove the kaltappam from the pan. Our tasty inderi appam is ready to be served. 
do try this recipe on coming midland wednesday and let us know your feedback we will be back with another interesting recipe until then keep smiling and stay safe